The first option on the users accounts is browse list of users. Here we can see a list of all the users on the system. Uh, we're using a local testing site here so we've just got a couple of test accounts. Obviously on a real site you're going to have hundreds, potentially thousands of users and you can just click on any of these field headings to automatically sort them out. Um, however you also want to notice the show advanced button which is in the top right there and this will allow you to search for uh, via fields that you'd expect obviously like surname, last name, email address and country but we can also search for people by their current role in, a, in the system or within a course and even by quite interesting criteria such as the, their first access or last login and this can really help sort of focus in on the individual or the group of people that you're looking for. The next option underneath users accounts is bulk user actions. This can be quite useful as you can see what you're able to do is to select users from a list and then for example send them all a message or delete them all or download them all. Uh, even forcing a password change if you feel there's a group of people that have perhaps uh, had their password security compromised you can do this in one instant sort of action rather than having to do it individually. This screen allows administrators to set up new user accounts on the system. It's a very straightforward form. The vital fields are actually highlighted with red text, but it is worth looking at the other settings and thinking how they may impact on students and or teachers, depending on what type of account it is uh, you're setting up for the user here. The upload users option gives administrators a really easy way to create multiple accounts at the same time. It uses a simple CSV file, which is a comma separated values file. So imagine an Excel spreadsheet with student data in, in columns such as first name, last name, username, email. It's possible to import this data and create accounts. Now there's a preview rows function, which is really important. If you imagine you're about to create a thousand users in one go, you really need to double check that you've actually set things up right and that's what the preview rows is there for so it's a great feature. The upload user pictures functionality enables an administrator to assign a whole group of images to the user accounts. Now this could be useful in two scenarios possibly. The first where you actually want anonymous images so you don't want users to be identified by their image uh, and the second is perhaps within a school where you want to assign images to people based on the class they're in or the year they're in and this gives an administrator a really easy way to assign pictures to user profiles. The user profile fields enables the administrator to add extra fields to the user's profiles. Now this could be something as simple as indicating gender. You may be dealing with lots of overseas students and it may not be obvious to you whether students are male or female. So this could be used to help you identify their gender. Another example might be to have a menu of choices which is reflecting the department that each person works in or if you have multiple sites indicating which site they work at. The cohorts function is sometimes referred to as site-wide groups. It's actually a very simple piece of functionality and enables an administrator to add a new cohort and then to add users into that cohort. So for example it could be used to add all the students from one department and then an administrator could actually enroll all those students in one go directly into a course.